Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. I just got something in and I want to show it to you. This is the Valiverse Action Force Sergeant Slaughter action figure. This is an officially licensed Sergeant Slaughter figure. I pre-ordered this last year and it just arrived today. I'm very eager to open this up and look at it. Since I know many of you will be interested in displaying this figure next to your 6-inch G.I. Joe classified action figures, I will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison with the most average of average G.I. Joe classified figures, Duke. There were two sheets of paper included in the box. One is a letter from Valiverse. The other is important user information with instructions on how to heat the plastic to avoid breakage. I will do this if necessary. We've got to look at the box before we open it. It does have the Action Force logo on the front, Sergeant Slaughter, the Valiverse logo in the corner. The front of the box has the window pane showing the figure, and that's good. Kind of generic on the front of the box. Really nothing special here, uh, but we have the nice artwork on the side of the box really good rendition of sergeant slaughter and on the back we have the cross cell with other action force figures in that set and a sergeant slaughter file card so this is nice this is something we do not get with classified figures includes two action points that's a clever idea the other side of the box is just the logo again i have cut the tape let's remove the figure and take a look at it there is a plastic piece covering the figure so let's Let's pull that off and under the plastic piece there is uh, a plastic film that is also covering the figure so let's peel that off you get the sergeant slaughter action figure sunglasses a revolver a knife several sets of alternate hands and a figure stand this is nice gi joe classified figures do not include figure stands here is sergeant slaughter with all his bits i used the hot water method of softening the plastic the joints were a bit stiff and that did help in some areas and it did not help in other areas this will be an adventure to review this figure and not break it here is sergeant slaughter next to gi joe classified duke and as you can see they are about the same height the hat for sergeant slaughter is removable if I put the hat on, he would appear a little bit taller. So if you stand these next to your G.I. Joe classified figures, next to an average figure, it will look pretty good. However, G.I. Joe classified gung-ho towers over Sergeant Slaughter, and that doesn't quite look right. I think Sergeant Slaughter should be closer to gung-ho's size than Duke. Let's look at the articulation on this figure. He has a ball joint and a hinge for the head, so good articulation for the head, good up and down motion and side to side a bit of a tilt as well there is no articulation at the base of the neck which is not a big deal i'm just kind of used to seeing it now the arms lift up at the shoulder that's a lot better after i softened the plastic they also swivel all the way around at the shoulder there is a twist on the upper arm there are double jointed elbows and a twist at the wrist there are also hinges at the wrist the wrist hinges on this hand work a lot better this one is still really stiff even after softening the plastic he has a chest cut that allows for an ab crunch there is a good range of motion on that and this is a different method to articulate at the rib cage than is used on gi joe classified figures the classified figures have a hinge at that point and i'm not a fan of either of these methods of articulation they both serve their purpose fine but they also both have drawbacks neither is worse than the other there is a leg split somewhat hindered by the jacket and these extra leg pieces leg swings forward and back a bit at the hip there is a twist at the thigh double jointed knees which are still pretty stiff and there is a boot cut there are hinged ankles and are they also tilt ankles if they are, mine isn't doing it. Before we put the accessories on, let's take a minute to admire the excellent sculpting on this figure. This is a good likeness of Sergeant Slaughter. I have met the man in person, and that is what he looks like. He's wearing an olive green jacket. It's pretty well sculpted. The sleeves are sculpted onto the arms, but the vest is a separate piece in softer plastic, and that's a nice way to do it. It adds some dimension to the figure. He has a black undershirt, and this is reminiscent of the G.I. Joe version 2 Sergeant Slaughter figure. 
He has a black belt and a silver belt buckle, and on the bottom half of the figure, he has a really nice, tight camouflage pattern. On his right leg, he has a pistol for the holster, and on the left leg, he has a sheath for the knife, and those are separate pieces, and they look great. I think that's a nice way to do that. I'm glad they are separate pieces and not just sculpted on. You could take those off for customization purposes. We finish with some tall, black leather army boots with really nice details, very nicely done. Let's look at the accessories and let's start with the piece I usually finish with, the figure stand. It's a really nice looking figure stand in kind of a gunmetal gray. It's got the Action Force logo on it. It has four foot pegs, so you can display this figure in a variety of different poses. The issue I have with this figure stand is even after softening the plastic a couple of times, it still is a very tight fit to get this figure on the peg. I'm worried about cracking the foot peg off. I know other collectors have not had a problem with this figure stand so that's great but for the safety of the figure and the stand I'm not going to use it. The figure includes a Smokey the Bear hat. This is an essential accessory for Sergeant Slaughter. Both sides seem to be the same. There doesn't seem to be a front and back. It looks like it'll fit on either way. This hat is made of a hard plastic. This is something G.I. Joe figures do as well. I think these hats should be made of a softer plastic to hug the head better but this apparently is the industry standard so I guess it's fine. It it should stay on pretty well as long as you wedge it far enough onto the head. The figure includes sunglasses. This is another essential accessory for Sergeant Slaughter, and the best I can tell is you just place the glasses on his face, but there doesn't seem to be any place for them to clip on or hook on, and they do stay on very loosely. And if I have a problem with this figure, this is probably it. These glasses are important. I want to display this figure with the sunglasses, and they are very loose. The probability of these glasses falling off is very high, and they're very tiny, so they're very easy to lose. This is how I want to display the figure. This is how he looks the most like Sergeant Slaughter, but I'm very concerned about both the hat and the sunglasses falling off. He includes this revolver, and this looks really nice. There is a hole in the barrel for blast effects if you want to add that. No complaints about this. This looks great. The revolver fits snugly in this quick-release holster on his right leg, and that looks beautiful. I love it. He includes this knife with a Rambo-style blade and an eagle head on the handle and this fits very well in the sheath on the left leg. Fits great and looks great. Finally we have the extra hands. These are important. The trigger hand is necessary if you want to place the revolver in the figure's hand but I'm very nervous about removing these hands so I'm going to soften the plastic one more time. After softening the plastic these extra hands fit on the figure just fine. The trigger hand works great with the pistol. The fist looks good. I'm always on the fence on whether or not I like extra hands on action figures, but these work really well. That is Valiverse Action Force Sergeant Slaughter. I do like this figure, and I like it in exactly this configuration. I have some mounting putty to keep the hat on. I have some mounting putty to keep the sunglasses on. I have the pistol in hand. This is a really nice figure. It looks great, and it stacks up well with your G.I. Joe classified series figures. Does the figure have some problems? Yes but it's not really a problem with this individual figure. It has kind of the same problems that you'll have with any figure of this scale. G.I. Joe classified figures have the same problems. If you are interested in an action figure of this scale, and if you're interested in an officially licensed Sergeant Slaughter figure that actually looks like Sergeant Slaughter, this is something you should look into. Thank you for watching this bonus video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel for G.I. Joe toy reviews, and support the channel on Patreon if you want to help me continue continue to do these reviews, you can find me on social media on Facebook and Twitter, and I have a website, hcc788.com. I'll be back soon with a vintage G.I. Joe toy review. Until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.